Hello everyone, this is Matt the Speedstar here, ready to run through the next part of Paper Mario. Last time, we trounced the Goomba King and made it to Toad Town. And now, we have to go to Shooting Star Summit. So, let us not delay. Let us head straight there, and then I'll take care of some other things in Toad Town afterwards. So, spin dash away! I'm kind of hoping we can find something that will uh, make getting around much quicker. Because believe me, once I have it, I have never taken that off. Anyway, heading back here, you can get a star piece. Okay, here we go. Now, I should have more star pieces at this point, because there is one I did miss in Toad Town. I'm going to grab it as soon as I'm done with what I need to do here. So, let's head up here. Yes, let us head up here. Now, this is the only time we're ever going to be able to tattle a star spirit, so... Let's show it off real quick. He's an old star spirit. His name is Elder Star. He reminds me of a grandpa. He's a revered person who lives in Star Haven. Way up beyond the sky. Uh, a revered star, I mean. I wonder why he's here. He should be in Star Haven. Yeah, with Goombario, it's gonna be switching between, like, a regular and the, uh, accent. Just depending on what things are like. Anyway, let's talk with him. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We are the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home star heaven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please, listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser's been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trance Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seemed content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we Seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser, even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will. Mario, sounds like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Now this is truly the end of the prologue, but... We're going to continue without saving because there's still a lot left we need to do. So, let us move on. Let me channel my inner peach. Actually, first, I need a quick trick. Sorry about that. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. 
If only somebody could help me. Huh? Sorry about the uh, drink right there. I have a little bit of a uh, dry mouth today. Wahahaha! <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Their subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful! They deserve it for the way they treated us Koopas over the years! Yep, that's right. Their motivation is revenge. Revenge and conquest. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You'd better not cause trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds better than just her regular laugh. Oh, please. If only somebody could help me. I don't have any voice acting planned for him, but that's what uh, editing in Audacity is for. <clears throat> Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. But you're a... you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Starhaven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wish that somebody could help me? Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great! Thank you so much for coming! Here's my wish! Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? Uh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starhaven can grant you a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please, ask for something easy. Something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Every one of my castles has been captured, and they have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink, do you think you could find Mario? I want you to give this to him. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom King just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink! Wait one second, can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine, and he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? You. I paid a lot of coins for that very special item. Alright, now before we move on, we're gonna head over here. This house here is just right under Shooting Star Summit. Uh, you can't... The two areas are both connected and not really connected, but uh, I digress. Anyway, this character right here. My my, I foresaw your right, Mario. This is Mer Lovely. She's a fortune teller, and she's also going to be a bit helpful in this Let's Play for me. What she does is she will uh, 
says she'll read your fortune. What she actually does is she will, uh, for a small fee, tell you where either star pieces, badges, or one other thing is throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. So, if I ever need help, or if you feel like you're trying to get all the star pieces in that, go to her. Of course, you can use guides online, but yeah, if you, if you don't want to be a noob and use a guide, then uh, yeah, just go to her. Anyway, up here, this is Merlo. This guy collects the star pieces that you collect. If you have star pieces, you can get badges for them. There's one badge in particular I want to get. The Attack FX A badge, I believe. There's also Payoff and Chill Out. If I had one more, I could get pretty lucky or feeling fine. There's a lot of badges here. There's also one in particular that I usually use, Peekaboo. This, this makes Goombario pretty much useless, but uh, I'm going to be trying to get the most out of Goombario. Anyway, I'm going to try and get all these because you need all of the star pieces in order to get all the badges here. Oh, darn it, I, I didn't get attack FXA. Alright, so this one takes zero BP because it doesn't do anything uh, that helps you, really. Let's equip it real quick. If I remember this right, why did I do that? Yes! That's what I want. I, I like the... I like the sound effect that gives. Okay? Anyway, that's all the business I have there, so... Let us move on. I, I did pretty good for... How long this took. Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something for it. To you. See me. Ah, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. You got the lucky star. Signed by the legendary girl A. If you have not watched the anime that is named after this item, you will not get the joke. Anyway, this lets you use the action command at long last. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. She bought it for, like, 500 coins, autographed by the legendary girl A herself. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. Now, most Stelpiers I've seen actually skip this. I'm not like them. I'm a rebel. So, I'm going to show this off, mainly because I need some practice in this. I need to get used to doing it on this uh, controller. So first, choose the jump command. So, by choosing the jump command, it'll show you what you have to do for the action command. I actually have to time these a little earlier than usual, because for some reason... I think that's just what it's like for my uh, controller. I'm not totally sure. Either that, or I am just rusty. Alright, so as soon as Goombaro's about to hit me, guard! There we go. Guarding with the action command takes off one damage. However, there are means to be able to take off more than just one damage. Unfortunately, there's no super guard. That came in Thousand Year Door, and believe me, I loved that. Alright, so, hammer. This is different. Most hammer attacks require you to hold left on the control stick and let go as soon as the star lights up. And there you go! So, that's basically it. There are other uh, action commands depending on what moves and badges you have equipped. So, I think I'm good. I just wanted to really show this off. Actually, uh, I did a recording of this before, and I kind of failed. I kind of failed to do some action commands for a particular attack. So, I took a few moments to get some practice in on the road to Toad Town. Yeah, I'm not doing voice acting right now, because I just wanted to explain that a little bit. Anyway, this is a Magic Koopa. This is actually a tough enemy, considering uh, where we are in the story. Anyway, Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use Magical Rods, Max HP 8, Attack Power 3, Defense Power 0. 
Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. Alright, now, I can use either a hammer throw, or I can try power jump. Power jump's a little tricky. Let's see if I can get this right. Yes! And with that, it took off half his health. Ah! Anyway, the uh, magic attacks the magic Koopas use, they are pretty uh, tough to guard against, actually. Now let's show off Hammer Throw. And there we go. It doesn't do any extra damage, unfortunately. And there we go! The Magic Koopa is dead. Not to beat Super Dice. Oh, Dagmar! Ugh. Right, I forgot I was in the new voice act more. You're as strong as they say. We know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but I can at least tell you, her you're, you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. And now for real. Twink leaves. Daddy goes. Back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario. Let's get down to business. To defeat. Ah, goddamn! I can't believe I just did that. Especially as it's about to... Sing that little bit from the, um, from Mulan. What can I say? I love that, and I loved doing that since, uh, I did my new Super Luigi U LP. Oh, Mario. Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Anyway, that's what we're supposed to do next. That's his house right there, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go over here. And get a star piece. Now, before I end this off, because we're going to go talk with Merlin in the next video. Oh. Uh, there were two guys who were here. If you talk to them, they're saying that you cannot go up there yet because their master wasn't here. We can go up there if we want, but... I don't think it'd be a good idea. I'd kind of wait till I was a little bit of a higher level. The last thing I'm going to do before I end off the video is I'm going to go into the shop here. If you see a building with a fire flower on it, that's the shop. So, this is the Shroom Grocery. Oh, I can hear the, uh... That building I could go up into, uh, that's what, what the music is. I don't know why I can hear it. Anyway, there are two things... Not two things, there are four things we can actually do here. You can buy stuff, just go up to the item and you can buy something. You can sell an item if you want. What I'm actually doing is I'm going to check. Checking is similar to how you store items in Pokemon before the, uh, before the thing which you could carry infinite items in your pack. I'm going to store this Goom Nut, and I'm going to store this Sleepy Sheep, because both of these are going to be useful for something else later. So I don't have many items, but I'm going to buy a couple items. Actually, I'm going to buy this Fire Flower, because I kind of feel a little safer with this. And it's Honey Syrup. Honey Syrup is better than a Goom Nut because it restores 5 FP rather than 3 FP. There is a Pow Block right there. I could get that too, but I can get that later. And I think I got a little more time. So this is the last, last thing I'm going to do. We're going to head home. I wonder what my brother Maddie was doing right now. Oh! Whoa, Mario! It's you! Good to see you! And you're alright! After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Huh? Oh? And who are you? I'm a Goombario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on exciting me- <clears throat> You're 
an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh, well. Take care of Mario, okay? Two words. House sitter. Anyway, he's Luigi. I don't have to say anything about him, do I? He's your brother. Yeah, anyway, I just figured I'd head home to the Mario household for a moment to, so I can show off this. This here is a bit of a counter or a statistics keeper. It just shows you so far how many coins you've earned, how many badges you've collected, how many star pieces you've collected. If you've got all of them so far, I think you should have this amount if you've been following this. Number of battles I've had, how many first strikes I've had, and first strikes, and other stuff that hasn't been shown yet. Anyway, there's a bed right here. If you want to uh, take a nap, might do that. Cause why not? And of course, Mario gets the dump buck because he is the older of the brothers. But anyway, we're all full up. This uh, weird panel right here. We'll get into that much later in the game. Oh, there's a letter from Mario. From Little T. Dear Mario, how do you do? I'm Little T. I'm just a little toad. I live in Toad Town. I've been training at the dojo so I can save Princess Peach. I'll write to you again later. I love this picture here! I love this! Especially considering looking at that toad right there, training. I love that, because I, I don't like how toads are betrayed as just... They don't do anything, and they're just... I just like that some toads are better portrayed as able to defend themselves, able to fight. You know what I wish? I wish there was a toad partner for a Paper Mario game. I hope that happens for the next one if they ever do a Paper Mario game. Seriously, give us a toad partner. Please. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyway, with that... That's pretty much all I'm going to do for this episode, I believe. Yep. So, next time on Paper Mario, we are going to go see Merlin. And progress further in the story. So, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you wish to follow along this and my other Let's Plays, click the top right box to subscribe. Any concerns come up, I'll let you guys know on my Twitter. And just still info in the lower left box in the video and down in the description below. This has been Matt the Speedstar, and I'll see you guys next time when we run through the next part of Paper Mario.